Hey, Walter Sorrells back with another Knife Making Friday Five. Today I'm going to kind of draw some lessons from a video that I did earlier this week about making a knife with a, one of these, an angle grinder. So nothing worse than guys who get on YouTube, uh, they've done something once and all of a sudden they're a YouTube expert. Well, I'm going to be that guy today. I haven't done a lot of work with angle grinders, but as I was working with it yesterday, I really found that there was kind of a lesson that you could draw from how I was using it that applies to a lot of other things that you'll do in the knife making shop and actually that applies to uh, a lot of things outside of knife making. So hopefully there's a little lesson in this that you can take to other walks of life, maybe to this, maybe to the belt grinder, maybe to all kinds of other things. So what I found was, you know, I had my uh, work laid down on uh, a little piece of angle iron, just clamped on there. And so as I was using the angle grinder, I was sweeping across in slow, gentle, strokes across the face of the knife laying in the uh, bevel for the knife. So here's the general principle. What I found as I was laying in that bevel on the knife was that if your elbows are anchored in nice and tight to your body, you can take the angle grinder and keep it at sort of belt level and make these nice long smooth strokes with the face of the angle grinder and actually do fairly precision work. So here's the point. This is actually something I, that I drew out of martial arts, but it, it has application on belt grinding and uh, on the, the angle grinder here too. When your el elbows are in tight to your body and your hands are out working in a unit like this, you're actually driving everything out of your hips. When your arms are out really wide, they're floppy and you can, you know, you can move them fast, but your control is very minimal. So draw them in tight, get a nice firm grip on that uh, angle grinder and drive it all from your hips and you'll be able to do much more precise work than if you're standing way out here and doing everything at arm's length. All right, let's go over to the belt grinder and I'll show you the same principle at work on the grinder. So a lot of guys ask me if using jigs is a better idea than freehand grinding. And really, you know, there's no simple answer to that. There's not a better or worse. They're just sort of different applications. Using a jig means that you have a tool rest or a little table here that has your blade fixed on a little device that you can move back and forth. And what this does is it ensures that you have a really, really exact angle for that blade. Here's an example of a Tonto that I forged recently. And it's very important in knife making that the angle of the blade is exactly the same all the way down. It turns in a little bit at the tip, but it's still the same angle all the way. So to maintain that exact angle, you have to keep the blade at precise angle all the way down. If you're not going to use a jig, then that means that you have to maintain a very very precise angle I mean within probably half a degree in order to to keep this angle looking correct all the way down and to keep good grind grind lines so what that means is that you can't be loose and floppy in the course of grinding so circling back around here to what I was talking about with the angle grinder the same principles apply. I'm going to turn my back to the camera here and what I'm going to show you is that I'm going to be doing exactly the same thing 
on the belt grinder that I was doing on the angle grinder. So, just like this, I've got my elbows locked in, I've got a firm grip on it, and I'll just move back and forth. Of course, you know, you're going to always do a little, you know, something with your hands, but at the end of the day, I'm maintaining pressure with my thumbs and my fingers, which gives me a feel for it, and moving back and forth in slow, measured strokes down the blade, keeping that angle very precise because I'm locked in here and I'm driving it all from the hips. All right, I hope I didn't run on too long with that, but it's really an important uh, feature of grinding technique. And if you can master that, it'll really improve the, your basic grinding skills. Thanks for watching, guys. If you feel like you got something out of this video, don't forget to subscribe. Also, click on the link to Patreon for a great way to give back to the channel. Plus, check me out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Links in the description. If you want something sharp and pointy, maybe a gift for yourself or one of the cooler people in your life, check out my Tactics Armory website and pick up one of our tactical or outdoor knives. And finally, if you want to learn to make hamons or Japanese swords, check out waltersorrelsblades.com where you can find videos about how I make hamons as well as forging, mounting, polishing, and fittings for Japanese swords. Thanks and see you soon.